Okay, I'd like to call our special meeting to order. And would you please rise and join me for the pledge? I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I apologize for my appearance <laughs> and my lateness, but, um, okay, solar energy bits. Would you like to speak, or? Sure, might as well. Um, so, because we only got one vote, uh, one vote, one bid, less, sorry, um, we just decided that it's probably best to extend the, the deadline six weeks to June 10th was the date we were working with and thinking about. Um, so I sent all the elements this week to Carol and uh, Nicole, and the elements are the um, the RFP intro letter, just introduces the uh, the project. There were a couple changes, but nothing in content, just including um, Nicole's phone number, so we have a contact in there, and that was it. But I didn't change anything else. Actually, I didn't change anything. I suggested that we change that, Carol. Right, okay. So I don't know who changes that before we send okay, it. Okay, Nicole would change that. Um, well, um, the. Uh, Okay, the location of the proposed site. We need to put the address in here on, on page two. Yeah. And and we're gonna take I think I would suggest taking out a mandatory site visit as scheduled for and just say suggested that they'd be available upon request. And then put Glenn's number yeah, Glenn's doesn't need to be there anymore. And since the address is wrong. That's in the RFP itself. That's the only change in that addition. In the, the intro letter, the other change is going to be Nicole's phone number, and we have to have right. the cover letter. Then there's 15 nice egg documents, attachments. Right. The survey, did we get that? No, I haven't heard from you yet. Okay, so we could also, if you want to write in that sentence, survey and visitation, uh, site visitation available. Right, okay. Okay. And then there's the non-collusion, which doesn't change at all. Right. So um, I've gathered uh, 17 more uh, certified, um, qualified solar companies to look at the RFP, really specifically targeting big companies that have enough money for this kind of project, who do municipalities in New York State, who are nice certi certified. It starts narrowing down, but these 17 are really good. They've done tons of municipalities and really good work. And anyway, so um, I have those those email addresses. And so there's just a change here because Nicole's not here. I was wondering if I could propose that I send all those elements, which are neat and tidy, to send them to Tony at tonight. And then you could make a PDF. Uh, didn't we discuss? Yes. Make a PDF. Then you would send it to Carol Coney. Yes. And then, but the two things I can send to her is the the new updated RFP. Okay, I heard that that's from Nicole last so, night. So, um, so if you could send that to Tony because I haven't seen it. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then the other thing was the cover letter. The subject she, I wanted that change at the top. Okay, yeah, the RFP PV array, right. Are you making those changes, Carol? Yeah. Okay, good. And Nicole said that she'd be more than happy to send it from the phone once she got the information in the oh, I thought, go to. I thought so, it, so it doesn't I don't know, did you discuss that with her? She all? planned on doing it as far as I know when she got back on Thursday. Oh, okay. So I'm just thinking, would you prefer that Carol does it tomorrow or we wait for Nicole Thursday? I mean, I'd like it to get it out immediately, but any ideas on that? I prefer immediately. I mean, give them more time. That's fine. Yeah, because we'll package it up. Tony will do that, and we'll send right. it to um, Are you going to have the survey in time or not? Is that going to be part of the package? No. No, it's not. Okay. So It's available upon request, a paper in paper. So what you're going to send me by email is going to be the final RFP. I'm going to send you the elements. You put it together in a file. But when you say elements, the just elements are 15 nice egg attachments, right. the aerial pick, right. um, the non-collusion statement, right. the intro letter, right. and the RFP. Those two, the intro letter and the RFP, Carol's altering, so she'll send those to you. 
and then you'll send the, the cash. Right. right. No, no, no. What I could actually do is put it, the whole to, uh, whole thing together in a package as a PDF, send it back to you, and then and then for your final approval, yeah. and then it goes uh, okay. to the That'd clerk. Be great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'll review it immediately if you could do that. Okay. And then also, um, if we could advertise in the Times Herald's record, maybe that would be better. You know, I'm just trying to figure how do we broaden our audience, and we've done it here. Local guys have, you know, are showing interest, and they're aware of it. But uh, I'd like to go Orange County. Is there a place that when you scanned the 17 nicer to people, it, is there, you know, are they more centralized in Albany, the capital district, or the they're all over the place? They are all suffering. I mean, they're all over, but they're yeah. you know local enough that mm -hmm. they're interested. And so once that's approved, then that will be uploaded to the town website as well. So any yeah, yeah, other right. stragglers that come in, they can just basically download it off the town website. Yeah, yeah, Tony's gonna put it on, that's really important. Star, there is, um, there's a booklet that municipalities offer throughout New York State that they turn to for contractors. Um, I know my company's offered to advertise in it, but you know, we're not a statewide contractor. But there's also the blue book, but there's a, con are anybody, I could Google, I'm sure we could Google it, but that would be a better place to advertise than the Times Herald Record. Because that's where these people, uh -huh. that's where these people look, and I'm sure there's a category <clears throat> for solar. Yeah, I called Chazen to see if there were any professional um, things that they've dealt with with solar, and um, he got back to me, he gave me a contact, I gotta call, call him tomorrow, and uh, and find out if he has like a, like you're saying, there's, I know there's, there's one online for contractors and stuff. For municipalities, can, yeah. for all New York State, yep. it's like statewide yeah. bids and stuff. Yep. That's, where, that's where you should advertise. That's where so, you Can you find it should. for me? Send yeah. it to you? For me, because, uh, you know, we've been working all week on this, and I did the best I can, but I'm not a solar expert, and uh, any help would be welcome. Right. Uh, solar yep. uh, bulletin board, online, right. you know, yeah. anything you can think of. Yeah. But these, these guys are really good, mm -hmm. I think. I know you spent a lot of time on that. I did, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so whenever you decide to advertise, you don't have to just do one the Times Herald Record. You could do multiple ones, but just right. get the best mm -hmm. bang for your buck because you've already done uh, the record, I mean, the uh, the Democrat, Democrat and the, the Liberty Order. Order. So. What's the deadline for the bid to be heard? Deadline will be June 10th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that has to be changed. That's changed in the article. Five o'clock or oh. three? Three, I think. Three o'clock. Um, let me think. Uh, Nicole told me two. For what? The tenth. Is that the night of the meeting? Oh, yeah. two o'clock on the tenth. Okay. Yeah. It's June tenth. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. June 10th. As far as the county, uh, their office is what is it? Sustainable Energy. Now, are they of any assistance? As far as a marketplace or a bulletin board for um, potential um, installer manufacturers. No, they haven't been in the system. Well, okay. they've done some, but not as much as what you're talking about. We got some initial help. Well, but they right. gave me one name right, and one new name in addition. That right. was it. So. Right. I'm just saying, since the county now has the offices of sustainable development, you would think that they would have a marketplace of specific contractors, mm -hmm. vendors that deal with this. You would hope. You would hope? No. But we did all the legwork. So. No. no, I, I, I understand that you have. And we're volunteered by the water. Yeah. We understand that. Reminding everybody that. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, any other questions about it? It's simple. It's just these elements go, you know, into one PDF file, and that get reviewed by the. Uh, now, isn't there a newsletter that goes out every week from the state with bids or with? I haven't seen that. The DEC has this one for environmental. I know there's companies. also there's one in Jersey that we used to bid on. Okay. I'm looking it up right now, so well, I'll tell you in a few week minutes. A, uh, um, yeah, bids. I can't remember what it was called, but I know there was one for the state. There's one in New York for State, contractors. Too. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. <coughs> I know we've advertised on it before mm -hmm. for jobs. It's a very narrow field of people who can do this, and um, you know, they have to be they have to have all the certification for municipalities, so it narrows it quite a bit. I'd love to get it out there, but <coughs> where it's going to be seen by our our. I was in talking to some people. Um, they were asking me if it was an, if we were going to be sending an RFQ or an RFP, and I said that the RFQ was included in the RFP. Right, yeah. <coughs> and, uh, the square P that he talked. I I, you know? I don't know if that's the the correct procedure for uh, state or I don't know. 
acre is 200 by 200. Okay. Or more. I do too. I do too, yeah. It would be, it's a lot of, it would be sending out two separate. Right. So, no. Okay. The qualification is <coughs> in there. One thing I did hear repeatedly is that this job may be um, too big for a small guy and too small for a big guy. So, you know, just oh, so you're prepared. Right. I'm hoping well, we're not in that two, middle ground. 200 kilowatts <laughs> was seems yeah. to be it's the so old cool. mark. Now they were talking. They were we were. I was getting people saying, "Well, a thousand, one one meg." Wow. You know that's what we like to do. Okay. So that means they're making a lot of electricity, yeah. more than we would use for sure. So now Stephen's the one who directed us towards 200. Okay. Stephen and Stu. Right. So. I don't know how the, 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 the space limitations may be there. I just, I don't know. But we're, we're putting this out as a request for 200 kilowatts. Okay. Is this all state funded? No, it's private yeah. funded. Private? Yeah. Here, you can pay the cost. Here, you're paying for it, Bernie. Okay. No. No. No, it's private. It's private money. And then the state. Yeah. No, no cost to the town. Not from the town, though, no. right? No. No, it's going to save us money. Who files for the permits when this starts? So I think the company's going to have to. The in-house yeah, is in one spot. They yeah. come in with their site plan and all that? Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. That's so the, the, the advantage of a PPA, a, a power purchase agreement, is that uh, we don't have to deal with insurance. We don't have to do deal with right. building, maintenance, anything like that. It's all handled by... What's their advantage? Money. Okay. They get money um, from the <laughs> electric yeah, company? Solar energy bids, Public motion to re-advertise the RFP and oh. receive bids back by June 10th, no later than 2 p.m. I move. Second. At the, uh, regular, yeah, and to be opened at the regular meeting. In June, right? And in June, right. yeah. June 10th. Like opening bids at the June 10th, 2014 regular meeting. What so time? Who, pardon? Just during the meeting? During the meeting. Okay. Meeting is at 7 p.m. Well, Jane, you had the motion? Yep. I second? I second it. Tony, mm -hmm. all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, the next thing is um, we have a budget amendment in order to do the geotech uh, for shaving. Um, we need uh, to, the state will allow us to repurpose um, some of the money that's in the budget. So we need to move um, the current travel allocation of 750 in amount in the other category of 375 total, totaling $1,125 to the contractual services category. So if we do that um, and I sign that, then that will give us some money for the geotech and then Larry's going to um, donate his services on this in kind for us to use hopefully as a um, as part of our in kind matching. So it the First round of geotech at least will not cost us anything <laughs> when they're supposed to be coming down within this next week. And um, yeah, so it doesn't cost us anything. We're just changing the allocation of so the, the money. Yep. So, so can I have that in the form of a motion? I move. Number four. Okay. Four. A second? Second on that. And uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, number five. Uh, I emailed you all this. This is a motion to authorize the supervisor to proceed with the purchase of land bordering the highway properties. The costs will be as follows, 16.5-1.8. Taxes are 983.75 and 16.5-1.9. Taxes are 890.61. Other charges would be 10% of the taxes, which amounts to 187.44. And the fees to file the deeds is approximately $300. Any discussion? No. Nope. Okay, I'll move that. Uh, can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Thank you, Carol. That money will come out of our, our general fund? Correct. Public comment? Ms. Carr? I just read Tony's uh, request about the uh, what was happening with the energy audit, and I went back and checked, and Basically, what it comes down to, it's been discussed at three consecutive board meetings. Mm -hmm. it was the last one was in March, which they authorized 
uh, going back to NYSERDA to ask them to come in and to do free just assessment of right. not the audit, but just the assessment of what needs to be done. And then it's up to the board to take that uh, recommendation and put out bids for a um, NYSERDA certified um, energy audit person, contractor. And after that's done, when that contractor gives you um, the estimate, you can go back to NYSERDA and they will pay up to 50% of the cost of that energy survey. Okay. And then possibly up to 50% of the actual work that's being done if it qualifies under their existing facilities um, okay. category. And where would you want to have this done, sir? Well, it, it, would, it would have to be done, somebody has to all contact NYSERDA to get them to come out and do the free estimate, assessment, right. what's here, right. what needs to be to, you know, upgraded. The specific projects that, that they were looking at when they wanted this done were the window replacements and or plugging, depending on which is more energy efficient. And they were also going to try to uh, include in more of the replacement of the basement windows mm -hmm. so that it would qualify for that NYSERDA existing facilities uh, energy upgrade. I don't know what they just said there were. I know there's a window in the back there that just has a piece of plywood oh, okay, over it that yeah. looks like a sieve. Right, so okay. that yes, was just okay. a, a question of possibly including more right, okay, into that you. thing. Okay. You, you understood the nature of my, my uh, <coughs> email, right? Oh, yeah. Right, because the thing is, it seems that, again, um, the Narrowsburg Beautification Group uh, has received a lot of money mm -hmm. two years ago, mm -hmm. and it seems since uh, I'm married to one of the. Uh, um, members of the MBG, um, my wife had said, well, what's happening with the energy audit? Because there's a possibility, possibility that uh, possibly uh, the MBG would be um, uh, working with the town in donating some of their hard-earned money towards um, making um, this building more energy compliant. So it wouldn't be coming from any taxpayers, but the point is, until the, an audit is done, nothing can be right. released. Exactly, and that was brought up at the January meeting, and then at the March, March meeting, meeting was when that was when Juliet come up, had sent right. in a letter for the Narrowsburg group saying, you know, we need this energy audit or we right. can't authorize any funds, right. no, not we. Renaissance will not, right. will not right. classify it as a capital improvement. So who's the, who's the point person, the we person that's reaching out to have this audit done? Right now. Is it the Energy Committee? No, or is it's it going to be the town board. We aren't given yeah. any direction like that. We yeah. need to know who from the town yeah. is going to contact NYSERDA to get them to do the first step, which is this assessment. Okay. What's here? Do you need it at all? And if That's you do, you what the that. area is. I didn't have time to deal with it, so okay. it's, I've, been, I've okay. had a lot on right. my plate lately. Right. So. Okay. That's to get to that part. Yeah. And Norm said that you think yeah, he, did, did the he did apply for the existing facilities program. I thought it was okay. true. So, um, but yeah. that might be two different things. Asking yeah, NYSERDA to come here to do the free estimate of what needs to be done yeah. and applying for the actual mm -hmm. right. monies, it stuff. might be two different things. So that's where it's stuck right now. We need to get somebody mm -hmm. authorized to contact NYSERDA on behalf of the town to come in and do the free assessment of what needs to be addressed as far right. as an energy audit goes. And then we can go from there. Do you have a contact person, telephone number, email? I find myself bouncing around every time I talk to them. I went bouncing to one person. I go look for one. The mm -hmm. one isn't there. The other one handles them. It's, just it's a hand around job. Oh, yeah, I have maybe, somebody. Maybe we I'll do. Yes. That. Okay. Would you be willing to make that contact? If I can get the contact information. Okay. I mean, the thing is, they, they should make this pretty easy for m m municipalities yeah. to reach out to have a free energy yeah. audit done. With, you know, and it's, not, it's not a free energy audit. They come in and they give you an assessment of the scope of the energy audit. Right. Then it's up to the town to okay. solicit someone to do it. I'll tell you how deep the water is. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I'll move that we authorize uh, Councilman Ritter to contact NYSERDA for a free estimate uh, for the audit of the building. And I'll get the information from you. Awesome. Can I have a second? Jane, Jane? Yeah. all in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Any other public comment? Nothing, Bernie? Can we talk about the solar thing? I mean, how 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 big of a 
area are they talking about? We're not exactly sure yet. So we, mm -hmm. We're not exactly sure yet. Oh. So we get, I mean, we have some. Between a quarter and a half an acre. Yeah, between a, a quarter half and a half an acre. Between a quarter and a half. And how many, each, I understand these units are three by five, approximately 15 square feet. How many of those do they need, do you know? It depends on the size that they determine they need. This is all going to have to be done through bid and let them tell right. us because we've got about six different things yeah, already. And we don't have those figures yet. And as far as the town is concerned, no monies from the town are put into this. No money from the town. And the, the people that build it are the ones that benefit on accumulating kilowatts. Yes. Bill and that's how they get paid. They'll, they'll get the extra, and they'll get the energy credits. We won't get the energy okay. credits from the state. And now, do they get money from the state to build it? They get probably one hundred eighty thousand dollars. One hundred eighty thousand from Nyserta. If they qualify, and the program is still going by the time we get the bids. And but Bernie, there's two benefits that we receive. Yeah, and we get we get the energy to run the lights in we'll several of our locations. 30 to 40% of our electric bill. And the meter goes backwards. Do we get money on that? No, no. no that's what Bill gets. That's why it's not going to cost us anything. If we bought it ourselves, yeah. installed it, and maintained it, then we would get it. Then we would get everything. But we don't think that's a wise way to go. So and it'll save us money, it'll help the environment, yeah, and, you know, they take yeah. care of the maintenance, they take care of all the of cleaning, yeah. the breakage, everything yeah. that that's a given, right? Yeah. There's no cost to the town at all as far as uh, when no. there's three feet of snow on top no. of these units, they got to come up and get rid of all the snow and clean it all off. No. There's ambient heat on the panels that yeah. usually doesn't accumulate. Mm -hmm. There's Oh, okay, good. Yeah, the heat comps I found at the Homestead School, they didn't have any trouble with all the snow that we got this year. They didn't have any trouble with their panels and snow. So. Does any other town in Sullivan have such a thing yet? No, no. no towns yet, no. We're the first, hopefully. <laughs> well, other towns in New York State apparently do something. Yeah. So we have no way of connecting the dots with anybody. No, no, wait, we can't hurt well, other, 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 other towns, other towns in the state of New York have done this, not just, not, not in Sullivan County. Not in Sullivan right. County. Right. Not Bernie, if, if they go belly up, it's not going to hurt us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's, there's, the town doesn't have any money invested in this, right. it's just a, it's a grant, well, it's like a grant program, expense. basically. But it's not our yeah. expense. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a yeah. risk. For them. Not right. for us, for us. So. That's okay. why we're going this That's way, Bernie. Granny, you had other things? I just want to tell everybody there's the energy savings tip of the week provided by uh, the energy committee in the Ripper Reporter every week. <laughs> Turn the light off when you leave the room. Much. That's right. <laughs> Simple things like that add up. Yeah, you certainly does, Ollie. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> when you had six kids, you better turn the lights off. Wait, wait, wait. Six kids, turn the lights off. Short ones. I'll do the short one. Okay. Uh, the the board might want to know that uh, the uh, well, the board might want to know the board might want to know that the house across the street is for sale. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is now for sale. Mr. Chen has that on the market. I saw that at MLS, and uh, I just want to. Mention that to the board, since we are uh, we need space. How much is it? One four nine, and I believe he bought that for a little less than that uh, in two thousand and six. What's that? Two your old house. Yeah, your, your house. old house, Bernie. Your old house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, we just can't get away from you, Bernie. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they should give it to the town and take it off on their income tax. I, w I would like to put that on the uh, May agenda. Okay, great. And uh, I think it deserves further discussion and. Uh, what would what would we do with it? Well, Office you got rec well, record storage, parking. You got a pot out there right now that's basically the historical, yeah. historical society could put a museum on the first floor. Oh, wonderful! We have yeah, to put the nice. put the bill for it. No, it's our historical society. <laughs> we, but Bernie, but Ed, we'd have to put put the bill for it. I mean, one hundred forty nine thousand dollars. Well, the, 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 there's a many uses you can use well, it. I, I think we what we ran the figures. Oh, so right, right, right. I, I think yes. we ran the figures at about twenty percent down at five percent or five and a half fixed thirty. I think came out to something like since there's no tax paid on it since it's a municipal building. I think it comes out to five hundred and fifty dollars a month, which would be around uh, seven thousand dollars a year. Yeah, but still, it's a, 
It's money off the tax rolls. Uh, right, you know. but I understand it's money off the tax rolls because we have to weigh if the town, since it's right across the street from the uh, town hall, needs the extra mm -hmm. space in the future, now or in the future. It's, it's right there. In fact, I think I had mentioned that uh, with a different board when it was on the market, and I think Deutsche Bank had that, and then Mr. Chen bought it at foreclosure. And this mm -hmm. was in 2006. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, 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 it's right what I'd street. like to do is, be, if we're going to do it like a cost analysis, which is good, but then look at our general budget, how much our general budget has increased just in the last four years, and then look at let's look at that. If we if we could cut those expenses back, then you might be able to afford some of these other things. So we, you know, we, if you're going to do that, I think we need to look at our whole financial picture. Well, the, the question is whether we need the extra space because it's on the market right now. That's. Mm -hmm whether the town is going to need the extra space for storage, for office space uh, in the future. I'm just looking yeah. down the line. That's it was I, part of the master plan, too. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's also been on the market. Pardon? It's been on the market. No, yeah. it just got on the market about the week ago. What? Does the bank own it? No, Mr. Chen owns it. But I think also what if we're going to do that, if, if the board thinks about doing it down the road, you know, let's say we, we really look into the financials of it. It needs a lot of upgrading. Put, put, uh, put it out for a public years. referendum. Okay, we'll put it on the May agenda. Come on, Norm, we're having a nice discussion. Anybody else? No. Okay, Norm made a motion to adjourn. I'll second. In favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Hey, Bernie, you look very dapper tonight. <laughs>